Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial. I'm 7Beats and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a really awesome soul R&B slash funky beat. And this beat is really inspired by the new track from Calvin Harris and The Weeknd over and out. But I hope this will be helpful to create similar beats in that particular style. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So right now I'm just going to play the first 30 seconds of the track. Right now I'm going to show you all the elements I use to create this beat. So first I've started off with some keys from Analog Lab and used this preset from the DX7. And after that I've added another sound from Analog Lab. This one. combined with the chords. So this one is just playing the root note from the chords. And after that, I've added this D50. And layer it with another D50. So I've used this preset. And I've used this jazz guitar duo preset. Combined with the two previous sounds. And this already gives it a really funky and 80s vibe. And after that I've added this bass. It's from Amplesound, this Jazz G preset. I'm gonna solo this one. It's a really unique guitar and I've layered it with a bass from Trey Osk. Just to add some low frequencies. And I've added another amp guitar. It's just mute preset. And I've used the amp guitar TC. And to make sure it's not sounding too sequenced, I've added some swing right here. So I've added around 20% of swing. And right now I'm going to layer the previous sounds. which already sounds really cool, I think. And then I've added this string, also from Analog Lab, and I've used the Shore strings, which is also just a preset. And then I've added this piano. It's the German Jazz Studio, also from Analog Lab. I will solo this one. Just a really basic piano. Yeah. 
and it's just following these same chords. And I've also used this pad, it's also from Analog Lab. So it's the Mellow preset from Analog Lab. So when I'm combining all these synths, it sounds like this. And when I've created all the melodies, bass lines and synths, I've added some drums. So first I will start off with the clip. Just really basic, but I've added another clap with delay. Which sounds really awesome, which is also used in the original track. So I will solo it for you. And I will show you how you can create this effect. So I've added this fruity delay and set the feedback signal to ping pong and What's really important is the time. So I set the time to 0 0.25 and this will really create that effect. So you can just copy this preset and I've added this reverb so it will sound that the clap is fading away. Just a little detail, then I've added these hi-hats. Then I've added this open head, pitch it down, and I create like this phasing effect by using this flanger and just play around with the presets. And basically, the same effect is used in the track from Calvin Harris in The Weeknd. And after this, I've added a lot of percussions. Then I've added this crash. And then I've added this kick. So as you can hear and see, I've pitched down this kick and just reduced the velocity. So this really creates a bounce right here. And we're adding all the synths. And right now I'm going to guide you through the arrangement. So first I've just used this pad and the intro synths. So the synths from the DX7. This pad. Added, added this low frequency. And right here I've added this really awesome break. So I've just picked some random snares. This one. This one. And the thumb. And I've used this effect. And when combining these drums, it sounds like this. So I think this really fits the beat. And I've also used some reverb on these drums. But I've automated the reverb. So I've linked it to the mix of my Valhalla Vintage Verb. So to make sure there is no reverb interfering when the drums and the melodies are coming in. So I think this gives a really clean sound without even noticing it. 
And right here, these strings are coming in. And right here, I've added the piano. Just really in the background. Here it is repeating, but I added this bed again. And right here, the piano is coming in again. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial, although this tutorial is a little bit of a different one. I really like this beat and wanted to do a guide through tutorial. If you're interested in downloading this FOP, make sure to check out my Patreon page. The zip loop file including all the samples and sounds will be available right there. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and see you guys in my next video.